Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at creating your own palette in the swatches dialog boxes here. So very, very simply, it's if you go to a color, if I've got a color here and I want to add this into the current swatch here, this little thing next to it here, this little square thing, if I just hover over that, it says add current fill to palette. So if I click on that and then the black, which is the front color here, is now in the palette here. By and large, by the way, it's not a good idea to add your own colors to the default palettes. It's better to have one there. If I hit Control Z, by the way, nothing is going to happen here. If I want to get rid of it, I should get a right click on here and go down to Delete Fill. It says, are you sure? And I say yes. So what? The, how do I save the existing palette here? Very simply, I go up to this little hamburger thing up here in the corner click on that and there's an awful lot of things under here and I go down to here and say export and the export palette lets you save palettes so it's a really good idea to export in other words save keep a backup of the default parts that come with Affinity Photo so that if you accidentally mess them up you can always get them back again you can always up here one of the things very simply you can delete palette and rename and so on but let's go up here again. So let's go yeah, Let's go back to this one. Um, don't worry about some of these things here. They'll talk about them another day. But here we want, is, we want to add a palette. It's one of these two. If I add an application palette, that means it's available to every single image that I use. But if I'm using special colors just for this image, I just want it as a document palette, which I'll do here. And currently it's unnamed there. So if I go to that and I go up here and I can go to rename palette again and, and call that Dave's palette. There we go. Eventually got there. There's no colors in here, but now I can put colors in. So I can pick colors from in here. So if I grab the pipette from there, come down to here and say, where's a nice color I want to keep? That's one of these here. And that's like a light color there. Click on the little circle, it comes into here. And now I can add it into there with adding the color current fill to palette here. Notice here I've got two little things here. One of these says add current color to palette as a global color. Don't use that, that's uh, something different, which I'm going to talk about another time. But I can add start adding colors now. I can just find the colors that I like and I can add them in here. So I can then quickly switch between those or I can go back to that pink color, get myself a pink brush, and I've still got the pink there, and I can sort of use that to spread that around the image and so on, use it elsewhere. So there you go, that's one way of using the palette. Just remember, remember and record and keep the colors that you want. You can remember you can always save these as well in separate files through the export. What we do as well, if I down click here, notice it appears at the top here. This shows that this is a document palette. The ones down here are application palettes. And so those are the ones which will appear for every image that you edit. The Pantone ones down here, don't worry about those. Those are for graphic artists. And now then, what else? If I go up here, what I can also do is I can create a palette from the document. The create palette from image is similar, but that's from another image. So you have to import an image for that. But for this one here for the document, again, it's an application or document palette. So if I say document palette, then it creates another one here. So if I look, drop down here, there's my Dave's palette and the one I've just created. And these are colors taken from within the image here, which is really handy because I can then just pick whatever color I like and use that within the image and it's all going to kind of tone in fairly well. So that's another very useful way of doing it. And one more thing as well, I'm just going to show you this when we're creating palettes. I'm going to add a document palette, another one here. I won't bother naming it this time, but I'm going to put one color which I pick from in here. 
that's let's use the color picker from over here you can use that one or the other one so let's just pick one from over here that's that one there i'm going to add i'm going to add the color there if i right click it and i can come down to the bottom here add cord to swatch this allows me to set up a number of additional colors which um, go nicely with that so if i say for example tetradic guess what that's four i get four colors which match nicely with this so i could use say the orange color there and if i get the brush um, with that actually orangey brown if i start painting around with this it's going to kind of match in with those colors so that it's not going to be completely clashing so there we go there's how you can create your own swatches in a number of different ways thank you very much for watching